Okay, shalom, shalom. Come yes, Allah. Koholoyim la, yahawa bashim yahushai, bahashim rechahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of yahawa bashim yahushai to the best of their ability. Zachanan Awaf is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Just out getting a little walk and talk in um a little windy so it's a lot here for that uh but just wanted to touch on this article in the washington post and all these um these killings that's that's going on man for for li little lightweight stuff man little lightweight stuff people are just going off and just going on a spree man this is um it says armed and dangerous suspect on the run after five neighbors were killed the search for a texas man who allegedly gunned down five neighbors Friday after they asked him to stop shooting in his yard continued Sunday as residents expressed alarm that he remained on the run so he's just out in the yard just shooting you know hey I mean because this is Babylon the great man this is um king of the sword this is where the so-called white man he really he really loves that sword man he loves that gun you know they're not coming up off them guns they make guns on a day-to-day -day basis. Everybody got one. You can, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Some people even have, you know, um, military issued shit. You know, we already know the militia side of it. You know, they, they these people have uh, uh, military shit buried in the backyards and all kinds of other stuff. But this man is not going to come up off this this war that gun, and it and it's a problem to his own nation. It's a problem to his own people, and. It's just, it's getting worse and worse, man. School after school being shot up. This shit, they're shooting up churches. They're shooting up malls. They're shooting up Walmart. They shoot. Hey, people are, hey, you got to watch yourself, man, out here these days, man, with uh, with the American people, man. These motherfuckers is crazy. You just don't know what, what, what they'll do. It's that serious. Okay, it says the law enforcement officers initially searched for the suspect, Francisco Oropiza, 38, in a wooded area near the Cleveland texas neighborhood where the shooting occurred but they eventually lost his trail the fbi's houston office on sunday warned anyone who might see or penza not to confront him because he is considered armed and dangerous oh you think of course his ass is considered to be armed and dangerous you done gunned down five of your neighbors where's the love thy neighbors man see you christians they you know they and i'm willing to bet you most of these people are christians man these people that be doing these shootings and shit, they be Christians. White Jesus believers, man. See? It says um, he's out there. He's a threat to the community. President Biden, of course, <laughs> was briefed Sunday morning on the search for the gunman. President Biden shouldn't be briefed on nothing like this. The FBI shouldn't be involved in none of that. You have law enforcement. Y'all do your jobs and go and get the guy. You see? Come on. Well, I mean, you got uh, fucking your, your police departments these days look like the military. So what do you need the FBI for? Why is Biden speaking on uh, 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 a matter like this when there's so much other shit going on in the world? He's a world leader. He, he, he doesn't have anything to do with no local matters. But that's them. You know, matter of fact, let's get a quick scripture. Because, see, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. This is his way of pushing through some legislations that say see we need to take you guys guns away <laughs> that that's what it's all about with him he 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 has been the talk he has been at the talking point of multiple shootings of, well hell that's pretty much all he been that's the only time you really see him do a speech here in america there's some damn place done been shot up then he'll pop up along with kamala you don't see none of them unless there's something like that going on second corinthians 2 and 11 and he reads, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, we're not ignorant of the fact that every time you see Joe Biden or if you see Kamala and they talking about guns, you know what they're trying to do? They trying to get your guns out of your fucking house, man. And, and, and they're pushing for this. Because America is the last place as far as on the list of being conquered in a sense where, uh, you know, they can't really do it because there's too many people here with too many guns. And these damn, these damn, um, these rednecks, they, they'll shoot it out with you, man, before they give up their guns. Well, let's see what else. Uh, let's see what good old Biden has to say. Let's check it out. It says President Biden was briefed Sunday morning on the search 
for the gunman, according to the White House official who spoke on the condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to speak publicly. Biden has not com commented directly on the shooting. Okay, but still, what, what's it got to do with the White House? Why, why does this have to come to the White House? You know how many crimes are being committed throughout the 50 states of America? And, and, and when it comes to certain ones, you only you only on top of certain ones. When it, you know, the ones that, you know, um, help your agenda as far as your takeover, you know, your, your um, you know, this, your new world reset, so to speak. It says, Oropenza could be anywhere within 10 to 20 square miles, Smith said Saturday after the search area expanded. Officials said that they found an AR-15, see? That's that's the word that they're going to always use, that AR, AR this, AR that. Why do, why do civilians have assault rifles? Why do, well, why do the police officers have assault rifles? Why do they have military issue rifles? You see? It says um, they found the AR-15 the AR style weapon allegedly used in the killings as well as articles of clothing and cell phone, but that they were unsure whether the suspect had another gun with him. On Sunday, the FBI Houston office released a photo of a tattoo on Oropenza's arm. People can share tips about his whereabouts at this. You probably ain't no telling how many fucking phone, um, 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 phone calls they done got. They done got this number out here in public. But that's the tattoo. Looked like what appears to be possibly a, who knows, a so-called Indian woman. This, you know, the name kind of sound like this could be somebody from the Northern Kingdom. But you never can tell. You know, but hey, because Jake bugged out out here too. It says, Ora Penza faces five counts of murder for the killing of four adults and an eight-year-old child. Yeah, damn, boy. As a matter of fact, let me get that quick scripture on that. Because overall, this is what it's all boiling down to, man. The love of many is waxing cold. It's, this is a part of what Yahweh Shai spoke of when the disciples asked him what would be happening in the last days. Matter of fact, let me start at verse 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So the Lord has given a rundown as to what will be going on just before he comes. See? And it says, um, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear wars, rumors of wars. We know that's going on. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. But the point that I want to get right here is verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because there's so much wickedness in this place, man. There's so much wickedness in, the, in, in these 50 states of America. This place is terrible, man. This place is, I'm, this, I'm, I'm, I literally, this place is horrible. People get up on a day-to-day -day basis and they don't even think about how horrible this place is, man. And then and until um, something happens to their asses, then they want to get on the news. I never would have thought it would happen to me. Yeah. Waking up, not saying a prayer, you know, not even thinking on the Lord, not thinking about him, you know. So it is what it is, man. But iniquity, because there's so much sin in the world, this is the type of shit that's going to happen. And you know why so much iniquity in the world like this? Because the so-called white man is ruling. This man is not capable of um, um, running a righteous kingdom. He know damn well these guns. Well, why, why does every household have to have seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, as many guns as you want to have? There's no limit on it. You know, motherfuckers out here crazy as hell. Certain states, you don't even have to have nothing. All you got to do is just go buy the gun and you can tote it. You don't need no license. You don't need no training. You don't need no nothing, man. You know what that leads to? Complete chaos. That's disorder, man. This place is all out of order. But let's see what else they got in here. I don't want to keep it long. You get the gist of it. This place is, is through, man. When you, what kind of person, you know the mindset a motherfucker got to be in, man, to shoot five of his neighbors, even an eight-year-old? Come on, man. Okay, it says, um... It says five other people survived the shooting in the small city of about 45 miles northeast of downtown Houston. The killings marked, see, this is what I wanted to get to, too. The killing marked at least the seventh incident this month in which an armed American shot others in response to otherwise unremarkable encounters. Among them, an 84-year-old man shot a teenager who accidentally knocked on the door. That was the little, little Jake in Kansas, right? 
So you, you got to be careful now these days, man. That's why it's so important to pray to you. How about Shem outside for, you know, protection, man. Matter of fact, let me grab another quick scripture. Let me get this. This is something that I pray on a day to day basis, man. I pray this on a day to day basis. A few times a day, actually, too, at that. Let's get Proverbs chapter three and verse five. Start there. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. See? You should be um, acknowledging Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in, in everything that you're doing, man. And he'll direct your paths. Ain't nothing to say a quick prayer before you jump in your car, man, to go somewhere. Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, help me, you know, to, um, you know, on my journey. Place a hedge around me, keep me safe, you know, whatever, you know, however you want to pray it. But you know what I'm saying? It's just a simple prayer. Lord, help me to, you know, make it back home safely. Help me, you know, you know, something simple. Because you're acknowledging Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. What you're doing is you're acknowledging that it's he he is all powerful and that he's in control of all things. You know? Because I, other than that, hey, you know, the people are just out here just on a whim, man. They really just, you know, sitting ducks, man. Really in reality. People are really um, sitting ducks out here, man, when they, when they don't have you. How about Shemel was shy? But let's see what else we... I mean, you get the gist of the story because we done heard about all these. Brothers done done lessons on them. Okay, so we know about the 84-year-old shooting the 16-year-old um, the Jake. Then um, upstate New York, a man killed a 20-year-old woman who mistakenly pulled a car into his driveway. Who shoots at a person for pulling in their driveway, man? And he was a complete redneck, too, man. He was proud of that shit. He had no remorse at all. It says, um, and in South Florida, someone shot a delivery driver and his girlfriend when they came to the wrong address. See? Oropenza was firing his weapon in his yard Friday about 11 p.m. when his neighbors asked him to stop, noting that their baby was trying to sleep. Officials said, rather than ceasing, Oropenza allegedly became angry, took the gun inside the neighbor's home and killed half the people there. See that? And, 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 and look, man. <laughs> let's get let's let's go off into the apocrypha real quick. This is why it's so important, man, to fear you. How about Shimei was shot? See, people don't have no healthy fear of the Lord. Let's go off into the apocrypha real quick. Let's get um Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach. If you have a 1611 King James Bible, uh, 39, chapter 39, and verse 28. And it reads, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So this was actually judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord set all this up beautifully, man. And if you go off into the story of Ahab, when the Lord had a council with the angels on the left hand side and the angels on the right hand side, hey, you'll see that the Lord, he deals with the, the evil and the good, man. He's the one that orchestrates things, man. And see, a lot of people don't know that. Christian church is not teaching the people that it's the Lord. He's the one that kills and makes alive, man. If so, a lot of people will have a little more of a healthier fear of you. How about Shemiah was shy? Okay, so it says, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. See? Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And this what this right here was the scripture that really it kind of, you know, you know, when I first read this, when I came in this troop, I'm like, wow, man, you got spirits that were created for vengeance. That's happy to get an order from the Lord to go go and take somebody out. That's why hey, that's why. So what's that? Uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 10, 31, it says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power to fall into the hands of the living God. It's a fearful thing. And sometimes you got to just mind your business, man. You do, you know, because you just don't know who you're talking to. You have to mind your business, man. Even though, I mean, that might be crazy. You know what I'm saying? I guess, hey, you call the authorities or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to get to talking to nobody that's out in, in, in his yard shooting. If he don't have sense, I mean, because that don't make no sense to me. You in your yard shooting? You know, you just next door. I mean, that that's, come on, man. That's no way to handle no 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 firearm, man. You don't know if shit gonna ricochet off something and hit, you know, you know, that ain't some. I'm not talking to nobody like that. If anything, they should have let the proper authorities handle that. You see? Now, retaliation wise, <laughs> I don't know about that neither. You know, sometimes, like I said, it's just best to just shut the hell up. Well, let's get um the rest of this. It says, They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth. 
when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. See? And, and a soft answer, it's a scripture that goes off into a soft answer. Let me um, grab that real quick. Because you can, you can kick it with people. It's just, um, you know, all about how you're talking to them. You know? Some people, you know, you just can't get through to. They don't want to hear shit. But generally, you know, when you come, you know, um, your Proverbs 15 and 1, it says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. See? And I'm sure they was probably talking shit to the guy. They could have said, you know, probably pulled him to this, hey, yo, bro, what's good, man? Hey, man, hey, the baby trying to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, let's shut it down for the night, my man. You know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know how to kick it with people. A lot, a lot of people don't know their neighbors. They don't really know their neighbors like that. It's not like how it used to be. You know, back in the days, everybody kind of knew everybody in, in your neighborhood. It's not like that no more, man. You know, you, you, you walk out of your house on a day-to-day -day basis and, and see the same person every day and never say hi. So it's not like that no more. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be a little bit careful with people like that. But as you can see, the Lord, he created spirits for vengeance. So we know that that's the Lord that got down on that on, 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 in this um, in this uh, in this particular. Uh, in this particular story or this neighborhood, man, this the, the Lord placed a spirit upon that man to take all of them out. Now, the scriptures talks about, um, you know. What's that? Uh, Job. Four and seven. Let me get that real quick because you'll say, well, you know, well, what does the eight year old have to do with anything like this? Why would the Lord, you know, allow the spirits to take out the eight year old? Well, hey, man, no one's innocent, man. No one's innocent in, in, in this thing, man. No one on this planet is innocent. In Job four and seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen they that plow iniquity and so wickedness reap the same. And, you know, the scriptures goes off into uh, this is a whole nother lesson. And, and it can be meat to some, but, you know, and, it, and it, to a certain extent is milk. Because these are things that you have to know when you first come into this truth. You have to know that there's a such thing as regeneration or reincarnation. You come back on this earth, man. There's no such thing. As um, see, you had to wipe away all that that white Jesus Christianity, where they're telling you there's a, a a red guy under the ground with a pitchfork, and there's this burning lake of fire, and you're gonna go to that's where you're going if you're bad on earth. That's not in the scriptures, man. You had to wipe your mind clean of that. You know what I'm saying? Because the white Jesus Christianity then taught all kinds of weirdo weirdo shit, man. Bunch of fables. Now the scripture says that when you die, you know your your spirit goes back to the Lord that gave it. You're not somewhere. Your spirit is not somewhere in no fire, man. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit goes back to the Lord that gave it. And it talks about how judgment is under the sun and that, um, you know, you're reincarnated basically every third to fourth generation. The Lord place you in a body. You come back down here and you get your judgment under the sun from the last life that you live. That's reincarnation, man. That's scriptural. But the Christian church, they don't teach that. You see what I'm saying? So that little eight year old ain't no telling all of them. Ain't no telling what they done in their past life, man. It says the victims was identified Saturday as, yeah, this sounded like some um some um some Northern Kingdomers right here, man. The victims were identified Saturday as Sonia Argentina Gunsman, 25, Diana Velasquez Alvarado, 21, and these are young, young, young people, man. Julissa Molina Rivera, these are all women right here so uh, so far. Jose Jonathan Cazaraz, 18, and Daniel Eureka Lasso, 8, all were from Honduras. Yep, these are all northern kingdomers. All northern kingdomers, man. So see the Lord, he's judging our the Israelites, man. He's judging you Israelites. And especially you women. I've been saying this all the time. The women and children of Israel are being have been getting judged on a real regular basis, man, as of late. In, in a real brutal way. Real brutal way, man. It says Vaini Baldaras, who lives across the street from the family, said her terror prevented her from sleeping most of the Friday night. I am not I am now afraid to be at home. Baldaras 27 said in Spanish, this shatters the sense of safety of being in your own home, especially because they are neighbors whom I see every day. See, and what does the scripture say about the, um, you know, because Yahweh Shah spoke on that when the, the guy asked him. Let me see, uh, it's a lot. I think it's the, the great commandment. Mm, 
Yeah, let's get it in Matthew. Now, this is... Um, I'm going to start at verse 35, Matthew 22 and 35. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. This was a law that was given to the Israelites. This was a you know, this was given to the Israelites, man. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. See, see, we see we we you know, and, and that that goes off into the curses as well. Let's go into one of the curses, because th this is what's going on with our people. We're under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. Let's check out the one of these one of these curses, and this only happens to our people, man. That's how you know. That um, the so-called Hispanics or so um, Latinos, Dominicans or whatever you know, Hondurans, those are Israelites, man, because they go through the same things that um, uh, we all have a, a, a you know a similar. We're all going through these curses. That's how you know who we are. Because verse forty-six right here it says, um, "And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things." Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And we already know that the only when you Google yoke of iron, what, what the pictures that's going to come back is, is Negroes in slavery. And it wasn't just us that went into slavery. It was the northern kingdom, too. It was a lot of um, Hispanics, a lot of um, so-called Native Americans, you know. All the Israelites basically went into captivity, man. And these Hondurans, they're part of that, that, that captivity. And then they escape, they try and get away, and they come back to the Americas and they get over here. And then they're going, hey, they're just, they're never going to escape those, those curses, man. They're trying to run from the curses, but it's just, it's, hey, those curses is, is, is on our ass, man. We can't get around it. But this is one that I wanted to read, too, because this is what's basically what was going on here. Verse 54 says, so that. The man that is tender among you and very delicate because because we used to be tender and delicate amongst our people. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom. And towards the, the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. See, we used to be, you know, um, real neighborly, man. We loved our people. Now, man, shit, Jake out here gunning each other down like it's nothing, man. Those curses are real steep on us, man. Lighting, um, you know. Laden on us. So that's why it's so important to repent, man, because we're living in the last days. That I, I, you know, I read that, that Matthew 24 and 12 said that um, iniquity shall abound. That's one of the things that the Lord named off that will be happening in the last days, that iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. You got to be cold blooded to just shoot at your neighbors like that. You, he went into the house and shot them. Now, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I can't see him just doing that like that because I'm sure there was probably some problems in the past. It had to have been. And, you know, women, man, they be yapping when they get to yapping and talking shit. You know, it, it just don't go right, man. You, you know, and like I said, again, you have to um, like stem your anger, man. You know, you have to. Um, the scripture talks about being slow to anger. Let me get that. And see, when you come into this truth, this hey, these these scriptures, they really are protected, but uh, you know, protectors around you. When you abide by these scriptures, man, you're you're protected. But if you don't have the Lord, you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you're capable of doing anything, man. Uh Proverbs 15 and 18, let me get that one. A wrathful man stirred up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeases strife. See? Proverbs 16 and 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. See, that man, he, he didn't rule over his spirit. He could have said, uh, uh, okay, no, I, I can't see. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know that had to have been on the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, on that, you know. That had to have been one of those spirits that were created for vengeance, man. Because for a person to just to do something like that, I mean, it, it just blows your mind. But, hey, it's happening, man. And he's on a run. 
And ain't no telling what he might do to try and survive, man. You know what I'm saying? So he might take out a few more people. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on that, man. Um, you know, I pray that the lesson was edifying. You know, hey, be slow to anger, man. You know, um, a soft answer. You know, and sometimes you got to just take the L, take the low. You know, sometimes you just got to mind your business, man. You know, because matter of fact, let me get this. This was always a, a dope one to me, too. Um, Proverbs 26 and 17. He that passes by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one that take up the dog by the ears. You know, you ain't gonna run up and grab no, 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 no straight pit by the ears. You don't know if that ain't gonna bite your face off or not. So sometimes you gotta just chill, you know? Maybe that's what those, and I'm sure it was probably those women, they probably ran out there cussing. Can you stop that? You know, and probably pissed that man off. Cause I can't see it like that, but still he should have controlled his spirit too. But, um, you know, like I said, again, those women, they probably should have just chilled. They should have just, you know, whoever they should have chilled on out and not, um, said anything like, man, let that nigga shoot, man, until he run out of bullets. You know, that nigga crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to know that nigga crazy. You, you had, to, this, this couldn't have been a, 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 a first time incident. You know, this nigga crazy, man. Come on, chill, man. Anyway, with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Warm, Yashala.